Hey guys, looks like it's time for a beer. What do you think? I think so. Yeah. Thought everybody needed a little bit of beach scene going on today, so we picked this up for you to look at. Everybody's longing for warmer weather. Getting thirsty though. Let's go see what's in the fridge, guys. Hello everybody, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. We got another one that Barack, uh, Barrack sent us uh, up from Florida. Uh, this is uh, Cocoa Beach Brewery Company. This is their Not Just Some Oatmeal Stout. Guys, yesterday we did uh, their IPA and was not an uh, no, IPA, their, uh, their Pale Ale, and was not impressed with that at all. Not very at all, I say. Uh, this is a rich stout made with three types of malted barley, flaked oats, and fuckle hops. And uh, another note here, it says, uh, Rape Beer has made with two-row pale malt, dark chocolate malt, black malt, and flaked oats. This rich stout is brewed with more than one ounce per gallon of fuckle hops. So I don't know if they're intending this to be a hop forward oatmeal stout or what their intentions on this beer are so hopefully it's gonna be better than the one we had yesterday the one we had yesterday the pale it was uh, it was absolutely nasty it got a C grade hopefully this will get it better than a C grade I'm uh, I'm due for a little bit better beer sometimes you, you get a couple good ones in a row and then you get a couple bad ones in a row not saying that I do appreciate uh, Barrack sending this up to me from Florida I cannot get these beers here uh, some are good, some are winners. I think the best, just off the top of my head, the best beer company out of Florida that I have seen or tasted so far has been Death and Cigar City. So I've had some of the other ones uh, that have not been impressive at all. Maybe considered transitional beers to the advanced palate or, or somebody like me that, that drinks a little stronger, a little tastier beers uh, now. So uh, wasn't impressed with yesterday, so let's see what Justin brings. The food pairings for this the cheeses are earthy Canterbury Fontina. The uh, meat for this is shellfish smoked meat. And at the end of the day, it is a stout, so it's considered a dessert or chocolate type beer. Uh, 4.70 ABV is what it says here. So this is a tiny beer. That's what I consider for a stout. Uh, this may be, as far as I'm concerned, other than it being a heavier chocolatier taste or coffeeier taste, uh, maybe into the porter realm of the alcohol being less than 5%, so I don't know. Uh, Year-round availability on this one, guys, and not recommended for extended cellaring and the glass of our pint Becker Stein and Mug Tumbler Side Dale. Uh, I brought the double glass, guys. I thought it was a bigger beer than a 4%. I probably should have brought the pint glass, but I'm not going to go change. I'm going to go ahead and pop the cap on this puppy and get it into the glass. I don't think it's going to, it may enhance the aroma just a little bit, and it probably needs a little enhancement from what I had from yesterday, so... Let's enhance it. Let's go down the center. No, I better not do that. We'll have a ten finger head on a four percent beer. I already got a five finger head already. Look at that. <clears throat> Over into the white guys. There is none. It is black, black, black through the bottom of that beer. We got no head yesterday. We got ten fingers of head today. So no light to it. Very dark, black, black, black. Three fingers of head. Let's get a nose. Chocolate, coffee, roasted barley. There is a definite hot presence, and it's that spicy herbal. That you get from Fuggles. That's what I get from Fuggles. 
It's like a dirty hop. It's got a, uh, I'm getting like a metallic smell to it, a tinny smell. Oh well, maybe the bitterness with all the hops that they use. So, uh, big bubbles on the on the head there, guys. Cheers. Thanks, Barrett. I appreciate you sending these up. Let's see if this is better. Cheers. Chocolate, coffee, bitter chocolate too. It's kind of bitter. All the bubbles they've added. It is a bitter beer. It is better than yesterday's beer. Thank God. Four percent too. It's got it's got it's got a nice taste to it for four four seven. Less than five percent beer. Not overwhelming in the taste. There is a I would consider this a good transitional stout. If you've not had a stout. Well, that is so it's got too much it's got too much hot presence in it. It's uh, it's too hot forward for a transitional stout. The bitterness is going to run you away. It's not sweet enough. Overcarbonated too. I'm already I'm already belching up the, the gas from that. And it seemed like it would get, it would have uh, dissipated a little bit with that aggressive pour, but just slightly overcarbonated with that super aggressive pour that I did, dummy. Not bad. It's 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 definitely better than what I've had yesterday. So we're gonna let it warm up. It's right out of the fridge, 40 degrees, and uh, see what she thinks of it. Uh, I think it's might get up uh, uh, the next grade notch up. Let's see where it ends up. Stick around. All right, guys. I'm back. Got this a little bit left here. Give most of it to the other half. This is definitely a better beer than the one we had yesterday from these guys. Uh, it's not up to at four point. At 4.7% ABV on this one, a very low entry level stout as far as I'm concerned. Not a lot of taste. It's very thin. It's very watery. But being where they're at, Cocoa Beach, I mean, uh, they're probably trying to get the spring spring break crowd and, and the college crowd probably. Uh, maybe some transitional beer people. Uh, that I'd normally drink, Bud Miller and Coors, or, or, or maybe even a Guinness drinker to try uh, something that they're brewing there. So that's the only thing I can think of. So final chug, guys. Definitely a little more taste as it warmed up a little bit, but really super thin, super watery, super bland. For somebody like me that wants a little more bolder taste than what we're getting from this. But it was decent. Definitely better than what we had yesterday. Something this low of an ABV needs to have a date. And I don't see anything written on the label or stamped on the bottle. So uh, we're going <laughs> to... It, it's a better beer, but there's not enough information. We need to have ABV to let people know that it's a low ABV, first of all. And then the dating, so they know how old the beer is with that low ABV. So you know how long you can keep it, or if it's past its prime when you see it on the shelf, so you can leave it there and not be stuck with a, uh, with a, with a, a beer that's six, eight months, a year, or two old. Especially being a bomb or two. I guarantee you this is not going to not have been a very cheap beer. I, I'm sure it's at least four dollars or more, maybe twice that. So, uh, and back to us what it costs. Uh, give me some information on what you you paid for some of these beers you sent me. I think you said you bought them at the at the liquor store down there. Different states in Florida, you know, like Florida, have different rules, and and you have to buy beers in certain places. Uh, not like it is here in Virginia where. You could buy beer on every corner, every 7-Eleven, every 
mom and pop store, every grocery store. As a matter of fact, the liquor stores don't sell beer. They sell liquor and wine, uh, the heavier spirits. Uh, uh, most everything above 10%. Not beers. I'm not aware of any beer that's carried at the ABC stores of Virginia. All that's available at the grocery stores. Uh, so, with that being said, guys, I've been flapping my gums. I think this beer is going to get into the, the B category. I think it's a 6, which is a solid middle-of-the-road B. But, it does not have a date. And a 4.7% ABV on a stout, unacceptable. So, it, it gets kicked the notch down. So, I'm going to give it to 5, which is a B-. minus. So if you've had this beer, give me some comments back, guys, whether you liked it, didn't like it. But yeah, it comes up with a 78, which is their average. Uh, I may be a little generous, generous giving it a B and not giving it an average uh, 4. Uh, it may be a 4, guys. Uh, I'm trying to give it the benefit of the doubt here since I hacked the yesterday's all the way down to a 4. Uh, Rate Beer has 70 overall and 47 in style. So... They're very, they're very bad uh, marks there as far as the style category. Seventy, I mean that's not even. I don't even know if that was as good as what they uh, predicted yesterday. So, guys, uh, it is what it is. Not impressive numbers from Cocoa Beach Brewing from yesterday's or today's. Uh, don't think I would seek them out. A lot better beers than this out there. Uh, unless you're getting a whale of a deal on this, uh, maybe it's a two dollar bomber. I don't know. Uh, back send, tell me uh, in the comments how what you pay for these and, and uh, let me know what the what the people can expect. Not impressed with either one of these from Cocoa Beach Brewing, guys. So if you've had them, give me some comments back. As always, rate, comment, subscribe, hit the like button. I like to look in the fridge and find a good beer. Let's do that tomorrow. See you then.